So I'll talk in Portuguese to welcome our participants first, and then I'll just get back to you. Yes. Uh, muito, muito boa tarde a todos. Uh, obrigada por estarem neste momento a assistir ao nosso webinar. Temos hoje a convidada a Rianne Koning da Biblioteca Nacional da Holanda, que vai partilhar connosco a sua experiência. Uh, Fazer-vos aqui assim, uma breve apresentação ao trabalho que a Rianne e à sua formação, que ela tem, tem estado também a acompanhar uh, já desde há algum tempo. Portanto, a Rianne Koning tem formação de base na área da museologia. Ela atualmente é coordenadora de programação assegurando as atividades de divulgação da Biblioteca Nacional da Holanda, portanto, numa, numa vertente de exposições, podcasts, vídeos, uh, e também, portanto, assim, estreitando os laços de comunicação com o exterior e o alcance de novos públicos. Ela está a acompanhar o projeto Medieval Memes Generation, Generator da Biblioteca Nacional, onde dá a conhecer não só a vertente histórica e o contexto associado às imagens que eles disponibilizam, como vamos ver uh, neste webinar, mas viabilizando também o envolvimento do cidadão na criação destes memes, ao mesmo tempo que ocorre aqui um processo de aprendizagem. Uh, é importante dizer-vos que este universo meme tem uma ampla aplicabilidade e aquilo que nós verificamos também com a utilização no meio digital é a capacidade de se tornarem virais. E, de facto, quando fazemos uh, algumas pesquisas sobre bibliotecas e a utilização de memes, verificamos que no mundo existem bibliotecas que já estão a utilizar esta ferramenta de marketing, uh, não só para envolver os seus cidadãos, como, por exemplo, a Biblioteca de Vancouver, uh, existem também grupos de trabalho na IFLA, grupos de trabalho no alcance a profissionais que fazem também concursos para, com os membros para promoção da própria profissão um, e também séries específicas de membros para divulgar exposições e alcançar públicos-alvo que a Biblioteca de Fullerton na Califórnia também recorre a esta, a esta metodologia de abordagem a determinados públicos. Um, existem pequenas coleções digitais de membros em bibliotecas, como a Biblioteca Nacional da Nova Zelândia, Uh, e, portanto, é aqui assim, este, com, este, vá, com esta oportunidade hoje, uh, junto da Rian, que nós vos queremos também desafiar a pensar em todas estas potencialidades para as vossas bibliotecas, de que forma é que nós podemos associar imagens uh, a mensagens que queremos também partilhar com os nossos públicos e a construção de conteúdos digitais que possam ir também ao encontro de públicos Alvo que, que pretendemos também alcançar. Uh, so, Rianne, thank you so much for this opportunity today. Uh, so, you, you will talk about our pro your project. Um, yes. Do you want to make us a brief a presentation about the project and then start the presentation? Um, then, uh, so we can, we, we are looking forward to hear your, your experience in MEMS in the Netherlands. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Shall I share, uh, share the screen? Is that okay? You can, you can start sharing the screen, please. I think it's this one. This one. So, does it work? Yes, we are seeing. Yes. Okay. And then actually find my mouse again. Where is it? Okay, uh, welcome. Thank you for your invitation. My name is Rianne Koning. Um, so um, I'm from the National Library of the Netherlands, the Koninklijke Bibliotheek in The Hague. I work here for 16 years already. Uh, I did museum studies in Amsterdam. And um, now I work as a coordinator audience programming um, in the National Library. So I do many projects and uh, events. Uh, so one of my projects is a medieval meme generator. And I will tell you something more about uh, that today. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, and if you have questions, you can start uh, your, you can ask your questions in the chat. I thought that, eh, Sandra. So, um... I have to read it a bit uh, from my paper because uh, normally my colleague, Kees Dezelski, he's a digital curator, curator in the National Library. He talks about the presentations of medieval memes. So sometimes I have to check uh, my paper. 
Um, so the main question for today is how to bring medieval manuscripts from the cellars of the library to the bright daylight of online digital culture. Um, so we as a national library own a treasure of medieval illuminated manuscripts in its collection. Um, so that's why we uh, start with this uh, main question for this uh, presentation. Uh, this is one of our uh, more funny um, uh, examples we do in the library. Uh, there was a, a Tetris chain challenge, I think it was during the COVID period. Um, and um, we see that um, yeah, we have become much more than a collection of books and manuscripts uh, during the last years, also because of the internet and the social media. So. That's what we also do as a national library to make it more funny and to make it more open to other people. Because as a national library, sometimes it's very hard to be um, an open space um, because most visitors think it's uh, they go to a public library and but also the national library is also, of course, for everybody um, in uh, the Netherlands or in Portugal, uh, of course. So uh, this is an example of, this is our reading room, one of our reading rooms. Uh, we also collect born digital material and other artifacts, artifacts of our modern popular digital cultural online. So we also do have a web archive. That's what my um, um, uh, colleague Kees Tzelski um, uh, curates. Um, but yeah, we love internet memes um, but what are those memes? That's the question for now. So here, um, what is a meme? Now, well, this, I think you all recognize some memes like the Grumpy Cat is very popular on the internet. Uh, so memes are a part of the internet culture and um, it's are, it are well-known uh, images combined with funny text spreads rapidly on the internet and uh, it can have a funny but also a serious uh, message to the uh, public. Uh, so let's go back a bit in history. Um, the word meme was first used in 1976 by Richard, Richard Dawkins in his book The Selfish Gene as an attempt to explain how ideas replicate, mutate and evolve. And it conveys the idea of a unit of cultural transmission or a unit of imitation. So that's more the background of uh, the word meme. Um, so yeah, where are those memes? They are everywhere, like uh, for example, on the social media, um, but also papers, presentations. And uh, we also have some stickers, for example, uh, this. We uh, made it as a merchandise thing, but later on I will uh, show you more about that. Uh, and memes are mostly used by young people to share funny stories or funny experiences. Uh, but also other people like this guy who said the following during this clubhouse session. So he who controls the memes controls the universe, uh, said Elon Musk. Then um, how to make a meme. Um, some people use Photoshop for it. That's a very nice tool to uh, make a smart or a, a, a quick meme. Uh, or the app Enlight, Cape Wing, or Mimetic. Um, but most memes are made using via a special website, like a meme generator. And so this is a website on which you can choose an image and combine it with a text. So that's... Um, what we made in the uh, in the National Library um, of the Netherlands with our collection. Mm, so a little bit back to the medieval memes. There are many types of memes on the internet, uh, but uh, of course our favorites are the medieval memes. Um, we did not invent them as a national library, but serious academics as medievalists uh, did invent the medieval memes. Uh, that's the start of uh, making the medieval memes a couple of years ago. Uh, but then when we saw these medieval memes on the internet and the social media, we thought as a national library uh, that our national library heritage can be used as a medieval meme. 
but it's this is one of the examples we made on our medieval meme generator in the project. Um, and here, uh, many modern memes could be transferred to a medieval context. A context. So we used the, the grumpy cats to a medieval uh, meme. That's also a combination you uh, can make. So it will be obvious for people who recognize the grumpy cat, but then in a context of medievalist uh, memes. Uh, and also many modern illustrations could have been taken straight out of medieval manuscripts, like you see over here. So uh, it's not the past is not dead, but it's even not no past. Um, there are many cultural connections between the medieval world of imagination and our modern visible internet culture. We want to explore that connections and clarify the medieval context for our users. So that's the most important point of our project. So uh, this was more like an introduction to memes and medieval memes. Um, but, and now I'm going to tell you something more about our project in the National Library of the Netherlands. Um, so this, what you see here, is our medieval uh, memes generator website. Uh, we have done um, the first selection, and you can make a meme, and we explain what's happening on the image, on the medieval image. And we, uh, the goal of this project and of this website is to only help creating memes, medieval memes, and present information about the background of the image. So it's like a starting point to make your medieval meme uh, and you don't have to use Photoshop or another uh, application. Uh, but then always the question uh, out of the management of the library is, uh, why are we going to do this? And why do we have to spend money on these kind of uh, websites and um, uh, things for the visitors? Um, so medieval sources in the library are only consulted by experts or shown at exhibitions of museums, as you know. Uh, so young people don't encounter them in their daily life. And that's a pity because we also want to see these kind of young visitors. Um, and for now, it doesn't play uh, a role in their culture, which we saw in the, um, in, in the, in the Netherlands. So uh, this is a way to let our KB heritage enter popular internet culture and regain an actual meaning for our times. So that's the main goal of our project. So reach out to youth and also the teachers. That was also a very uh, important group. So they can learn to uh, make memes and to make funny jokes with the medieval collection of our library. And then we had a nice bycatch, it's also in Dutch. But um, it, these are uh, compliments on the social media and the Twitter retweets about our medieval meme generator on the internet. So um, that's also a very nice, um, uh, positive way to work on your project. So you can see that people are going to use your uh, medieval meme generator website. But then the main question is, how did we do it? Um, so that was, um, it took us librarians one and a half year, mainly, uh, in mainly our free time to plan and construct this meme generator. So it was a, uh, a lot of effort for a small team in our national library to make this. So where are some first ideas, of course. The idea started, uh, as um, many of the best ideas started in a drinking party where uh, my colleague Case met uh, our ex-colleague Robert. And Case um, told Robert that as a curator of the digital collections of the National Library of the Netherlands, it's very hard uh, to mix the analog and the digital collections and to combine them to our public. So uh, the, my, our ex-colleague Robert uh, thought it over and came with the idea of making a meme generator using digitized uh, heritage of our collection. So here you can see our medieval meme uh, team or also called the meme lords of the National Library of the Netherlands. We call ourselves like that. Um, each of us has his, had his or her own role and um, we kept mainly uh, contact 
via WhatsApp messages when we had a new idea for this project. So it was a lot of time in our free uh, time. Uh, and also because it was a project during COVID, we did a lot of digital uh, uh, contact with each other. So you had uh, Ilse at the left, she was uh, more about uh, the uh, the text and also about the bit, bad cop and she uh, took uh, all the advantages of the finance. And then Case, uh, he's an academic conscience and it's also our curator of the digital collections. And then uh, besides him, it's Robert, he was the content manager and especially the creative genius of the medieval meme generator. And then uh, at the right, you see me as a project manager from, from out of the National Library. But then uh, what I already mentioned to you is that funding was a challenge, challenge uh, because this idea was so new and we had to find many sponsors and uh, tell a lot about our idea and our projects to uh, get some money to make the website. Um, but happily, we find found out about the Creative Industries Fund. Uh, so that's the Dutch Cultural Fund for Architecture, Design and Digital Culture. Um, they have a fund which aims at design companies which want to work with heritage organizations like uh, the National Library. So that was exactly what we needed. And so then we found Romeo, you see him at the left. Uh, he is um, uh, the director of a design agency named Doyle. And they did a request for the funding together with us as a national library. So we start our collaboration with brainstorming and design thinking sessions, as you can see over here with our medieval meme lord of the KB and also in uh, collaboration with the design uh, agency Doyle. And uh, that was a very nice period because we could think a lot and talk a lot with each other about all our ideas. Uh, but one of the main um, um, advices during this brainstorming and design thinking process is that you have to document as much as possible uh, about your projects so you can reuse a lot of uh, information later when asking for funding again or giving presentations to uh, management or, for example, to uh, people like you. Uh, and uh, for the documentation, we use the OneNote uh, application. We liked um, that application very much. And uh, another big advice is um, to sell your idea or to pitch your idea with a video. That's what you see over here in this uh, slide. This turned out to be a great idea uh, as the foundation, like the creative uh, industries could better imagine what we wanted to do exactly. So um, we had a, the, we were lucky that we had our ex-colleague Robert uh, in our team because he can could make these kind of content and videos. But that's one big advice. Um, to have somebody creative in your team like uh, like he was, is. <laughs> so then uh, we go back to the planning. We received a small amount of money to test our idea with our target group so that the target group were young people between 15 and 35 years. And that was in uh, the autumn of uh, 2019. Uh, we organized we organized uh, again a design thinking session in February 2020 to explore the humor of our heritage and invited a bunch of youth to help us with this project and to also to um, to hear their ideas because the those people were our target group and we could immediately get their ideas and see their react their reaction on our design during our design uh, thinking session. So uh, heritage and humor is not an easy combination. So that was um, um, that was a thing we had to search for. Uh, we as librarians are not funny enough, I think. <laughs> we so we needed an expert, and uh, we asked our stand-up comedian Marshall Hartjevels to create the right atmosphere and to make jokes. So this is uh, Marshall. He's an actor from uh, the Netherlands. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So here you can see uh, a video of our design thinking uh, evening. And it was a big success because the atmosphere was perfect and we could try out our ideas, uh, mainly analog. So you can see here printed um, um, pictures out of our or images out of our medieval collection. And it was great that the participants immediately asked questions about the meaning of the images and the historic context. So it worked very quick. So here you see also how we worked during the uh, design thinking process with analog uh, papers, and it worked very quickly with coming up with ideas and uh, making funny uh, jokes or uh, serious questions about the content. Uh, so we could um, um, we could go further with this project, but then digitally, based on their analog uh, questions we had during the design thinking session. But after the session, we had to apply for the second part of the funding based on the first results of this design thinking session. So that was in the summer of 2020. Uh, we made a prototype. So that was a version of the meme generator with just enough features um, to be useful by early customers, early adapters, uh, who can then provide feedback for our future product development. So we worked from a concept to a more uh, to the to the uh, to the website for the meme generator. Um, and then, what do we want when we had our uh, all our specifications for the meme generator? We told the maker what we wanted and what we also don't want to make the meme generator. So that's what we did with the design agency with Romeo of that part. And also we worked again with a uh, briefing uh, via a video and uh, pitched the idea again with our all our uh, specification and expectations. So here you see a very popular Drake meme and we uh, combine it with a medieval uh, uh, image. Um, so our work can be summarized with uh, this famous Drake meme. Uh, we want to make a simple meme generator to attract a young tourist group and bring them in contact with our medieval heritage. So that was the goal of the project. Um, well, there was a lot of construction going on on the part of the design agency. We started making the content from September 2020, like the descriptions and also the explanation videos. So that was a lot of work as well, because especially um, this was during the COVID period. Uh, so we worked a lot online with each other and made some videos, uh, explanation videos for the website via uh, Zoom or Teams, but it worked out. So here you can see our two-year targets we uh, defined with each other. Um, and the explanation videos I told you about were viewed very good, uh, but only after six months we uh, found out that we um yeah that we also all almost reached all of our targets so here you see that we uh would like to have 50,000 people visiting the website that's now uh, a target we reached but in sec after 6 months we reached already the 5,000 memes that people made and also the uh, uh, 2,500 uh, viewings of the explanation video so we were uh, very surprised of our success. We didn't know that it was such a success for pupils, young people, or teachers uh, on schools. Uh, so we found out that the explanation videos were very well viewed by, for example, teachers and uh, classrooms to, um, to show the pupils more about uh, the medieval uh, periods. 
And um, also we had some feedback. It's also nice to show from Siberia um, and uh, to, uh, to Princeton University. And there were some nice discoveries and experiments because we made animation with pictures from the medieval memes uh, and to just experiment with these kind of uh, applications. And it worked also very well on the social media. Uh, for example, we were, go we, uh, we were going viral on Reddit, a social media platform. Um, you see it over here. And here, our, uh, that's more about our heritage. Um, it also seemed to lend itself well by creating Instagram reels and TikTok videos. Yeah, I, I was listening to you a little bit with a difficulty. I don't know if it is your microphone. Um, I'm not listening to you now. Uh, Maybe it's your microphone. Não sei se os nossos participantes estão a ter a mesma dificuldade que nós aqui na DG Lab, mas eu não estava a conseguir ouvi-la. I wasn't able to hear you, Rianne. No. Sorry. Será que os nossos participantes no chat conseguem confirmar se estão a ouvir a Rianne, por favor? Because I'm not listening to you right now. No. Os nossos participantes conseguem conseguiram ouvir estas últimas frases que a Rianne disse. Confirmem só, por favor, se conseguem ouvir. Rianne, can you talk a little bit, please? Pronto, eu pedi agora aos nossos, aos nossos colegas que estão a assistir, confirmem só, por favor, se conseguem ouvir a Brian. Ok, não estão a conseguir ouvir a Brian, não. Portanto, Brian, can you check your mic, please? Yeah. yeah. Now we are a little bit. Then it's it's a, a little of uh, it's a technical problem. It seems to me. No, sorry. It's 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 the connection between your mic and your computer, maybe. Yes, we'll wait for you. It's okay. Então vamos esperar um pouco pela Rihanna enquanto ela faz a ligação novamente. Vamos só aguardar um pouco. Portanto, aproveito para vos dizer que esta, esta oportunidade de termos a Rihanna conosco uh, é de facto abrir aqui assim uma porta para, esta, para este universo dos memes que muitas vezes nós circulam entre nós na internet, mas na nossa profissão nem sempre utilizamos e fazemos uso destas ferramentas de marketing que podem, de facto, ajudar aqui assim a impulsionar alguns projetos que temos. Um, vamos aguardar um pouco que a Rianne volte a entrar. Ela já está a entrar novamente. Hello, Rianne. Hi. Hi, I can hear you now, yes. Ok. So, I'll put you co-host again, okay? Yeah, that's okay. Shall I share my screen again? Yes, you can share. Okay. 
let's see. Uh, where are we here? This one. Does it work? Let me see. Does it work like it has to work or not? Yes, we are seeing it. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, so um, this is about our heritage merchandise. Uh, besides the social media, we thought it would be great to make some merchandise to send to people, uh, like to other libraries or to other colleagues. Uh, and to make a more promotion about our project and about our uh, medieval memes generator. So we uh, created some uh, cards, postcards, and also uh, stickers. Um, you can see here a couple of. Um, so that was more the, the, yeah, the promotion for the uh, medieval memes generator website. Um, and it turned out uh, to be a great idea because a lot of people wanted to have them and we also um, promote them in our KB or in our National Library uh, web shop and our shop here in the library itself so people can buy them. Uh, and another nice aspect of uh, medieval memes is the museum night. Uh, last year, 2021, we organized two workshops in uh, House of the Book. That's uh, the oldest book museum in uh, the Netherlands, in The Hague. So it's the, that's a partner of us. And uh, we um, created two kind of workshops. So uh, for example, you can see at the left, uh, at, at, uh, downstairs, you can see a lot of people who made their own medieval uh, initial together with an illustrator. So it was a very um, uh, good session and that was why we thought it would be great to have a new museum night also with uh, medieval memes, um, but then in the National Library itself. So this year, that's uh, the upcoming Saturday, I organized the museum night for this year um, in the National Library. And we have a, kind of, a couple of workshops also about spoken word artists. Uh, you can uh, taste beer, um, all this kind of funny things. But we also made, um, um, yeah, how do you say that? Uh, a life um, size mock medieval board game. We call it Swanse Borde. Uh, so people can make, um, can play that life size board game. I'm not sure. In Dutch. So this is one of our new um, uh, ideas for the upcoming museum night. And uh, we are very um, um, curious if, uh, if a lot of people want to come play with us um, the life-size board game based on the medieval meme generator. So it's also um, a way of promoting our website. Uh, so that was uh, the main part of the medieval meme generator. Um, I've, I think two web, yeah, two slides left for this presentation. Um, so for the end of this presentation, I want to tell you a little bit more about our new project. It's like the brother or sister of the medieval memes generator website. Uh, we um, So we will go on with these kind of projects. And last year, uh, we got our last part of the creative industries funding I told you earlier about in this presentation. Uh, so with that money, we started a new project uh, and we call this Medieval Me. Uh, this will become a serious game with um, uh, augmented reality uh, uh, technology and created, of course, again, with our medieval uh, collection of our national library. Uh, we want to use the medieval manuscripts Der Nature Blume. Uh, it's a famous uh, artifact in our collection. With a lot of images, we can use again for uh, this new um, um, project. 
and it will be made for pupils and teachers to learn and experience more about the humanities part of education based on medieval heritage. So that was our main goal for the, to start this new project. Uh, so we organized again a design thinking session with our team and some pupils and teachers in the Netherlands. And with the information we got from them, we built a prototype you can see over here. Um, and we used this information uh, for a grant at the Dutch Re Research Council. And uh, last summer, we uh, heard from the Dutch Research Council that we have received this uh, grant uh, with a lot of money so we can make this uh, project. Um, so that's, uh, that's a new part of our project and uh, we are just started with the technical part of it. And what you see over here, the main goal of this project is that uh, pupils in a class can make a team digitally. They can make their own avatar, as you see at the left, with medieval um, images. And uh, afterwards, you can you make when you made your character or your avatar, you are your own character in a team with your other pupils. And then they have to um, draw or they have to um, uh, make questions about uh, the medieval period and about what they see in the manuscripts on their telephones. And at the end of the um, serious game, when, we, the, when they walk through all the questions, they get um, a prize, a digital prize, and that is that they can make their own um, yeah, documented reality exhibition in the classroom. So uh, they make from the medieval uh, images an a kind of yeah, digital uh, exposition they can walk through with the other pupils and uh, with their teacher and then they can get points for that so that's a bit the, um, the idea after uh, behind this new project and it's also of course to learn pupils and teachers more about um, our collection uh, and humanities um so uh but yeah this is another website of the kb manuscripts dot kb dot nl uh, it's also used to make um, uh, medieval memes but then you can uh, use it with photoshop so this is a very big website with all our medieval manuscripts images um, so if you would like to see that you can uh, visit this website as well but this is the website www.medievalmemes.org and our uh, mailbox if you have some questions later on but of course, uh, you can ask um, questions for now uh, as well for me to me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Ruyan, for this sharing of your presentation. Yes. Um, let me just say to the participants, uh, if they want to ask some questions to Ruyan, por favor, se quiserem colocar questões a Ruyan, vou vos pedir que façam através da da ferramenta. Uh, de questões e perguntas e respostas uh, que há, que vocês têm em baixo no visor. O nosso chat parece que não está a funcionar. Uh, Rihanna, I was telling the participants we have a little bit of problem with our chat, but they can use the tool of questions and answers to, mm -hmm. to make some, to make our, the questions that they want about your presentation. Um, so if anyone has a question for Rihanna, uh, I had some questions, but during the presentation, you were giving me the answers. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so I had several questions uh, while our participants think about what they want to, to ask you. Um, I, was, I was taking some notes and, and then you were answering my doubts. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I had, with your project, do you have an idea how many images are being used? So you told us about uh, the downloads and the reachable of uh, of this this uh, library, this digital library, and you answered my question. Uh, what is the feedback of your users about this possibility? Um, and with this range of what is the range of ages? Uh, are you more likely to use this image? You you answered this question also. Um, as a marketing tool, do you use it for different contexts? 
you have already answered this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the exhibitions, the reaching out to the younger public. Uh, um, also very interesting the way you involve the public, the younger public, you want to reach out. So yeah. Involving them in the process. Also. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, it was fascinating to see how you do the process of design thinking mm -hmm. uh, in this project and how you involve various partnerships and professional backgrounds. Uh, it was very important, important this, uh, this aspect of your work, involving yeah. all partnerships and backgrounds. Yeah. Um, Portanto, eu estava aqui assim a, a comentar que a Rian uh, tinha aqui algumas questões, nomeadamente na questão de como, do, do, do acesso, o, da forma como alcançamos o público uh, e pronto, a Rian ao longo da apresentação foi-me dado aqui assim, foi-me dando algumas respostas, uh, o feedback que tem tido o público, da forma como utilizam esta ferramenta de marketing para a própria biblioteca, alcançar os públicos e a forma como envolvem também estes públicos durante o próprio processo, portanto, e o processo de design thinking que vocês viram na apresentação da Rian também bastante interessante, a forma como envolvem vários parceiros e como estes profissionais têm aqui assim alguma a formação distinta para que tudo se possa concretizar no final, que seja depois este, este resultado. Um, I don't know, let me see if our participants have some questions for you. Algumas mm -hmm. perguntas para a Rianne, por favor, se as quiserem colocar neste momento. É um tema de facto novo, que se calhar nós em Portugal exploramos pouco. Um, mas pronto, fica aqui assim esta oportunidade também para mergulharmos nesta, nesta, neste mundo digital dos memes que a Rianne nos trouxe. Ryan, I don't think that anyone wants to. I think it's all new for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We're going to to explore uh, this this opportunity that you you have shared with us today. How we can combine image and um, um, some some messages to our public. Yeah, and, and involve uh, all the the non users of our libraries. Maybe it's a way to reach them out also. Yes, of course. Yeah, so I'm very curious uh, to your new project or how you are going to uh, work with um, this kind of project. So if you have questions in the future or you want some advice or like that, you can always uh, call me <laughs> or uh, send an reach email. Out, reach out to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, portanto, fica aqui esta, esta oportunidade que a Rian está a dar de dúvidas que tenham, se quiserem implementar projetos semelhantes e pensar na forma como alcançam os vossos públicos com esta, com esta estratégia digital, uh, podemos sempre colocar-vos em contato com a Rian e ela dar-vos aqui assim também algumas dicas de como, de como fazer. Um, let me see if there a question here. Oh, they, okay, are, yeah. they are, yes, they are, uh, they obrigada. are, yeah, obrigada, exatamente, obrigada pela, pela participação, thank you for your participation today, Rianne, um, thank you, yes, they, they are, they are, Rosa, Rosa is sending you uh, a huge thank you, uh, yes. Deixem-me dizer-vos que a nossa técnica, a direção de, 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 de serviços de biblioteca de Jalaba, Rosa Domingos, esteve, portanto, numa, num workshop onde conheceu, de facto, este trabalho da Rianne e foi a Rosa também que nos incentivou também a partilhar esta, esta, esta apresentação e a convidar a Rianne para estar aqui hoje. Uh, e, de facto, são novos conteúdos e novas ferramentas que a direção geral uh, interessa também partilhar convosco. Um, Dizer-vos que vamos ter um novo webinar no dia 17 de novembro sobre inclusão digital e bibliotecas públicas com o Stephen Weibner, não, não deixem de se inscrever. I'm, I'm doing some advertising for our next webinar with Stephen mm -hmm. Weibner from HIFLA uh, about oh, yeah. digital inclusion and public libraries. Um, yeah. So, Rianne, thank you once more. Uh, yes, of course. We will reach to you uh, most certainly. And we'll see you uh, hopefully uh, some some in the meanwhile. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> okay, yes. you're welcome. Thank Have you. Have a good very day. Much. <laughs> Obrigada. Obrigada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.
A todos, muito obrigada e vamos, vamos estando aqui convosco. Não esqueçam de se inscrever para os próximos webinars. Questões que tenham, se quiserem implementar projetos semelhantes, nós fazemos o L de ligação com o Rian. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada a todos e até à próxima sessão. Obrigada.